I think that the matter is hydrated and we need to look at it from diverse perspectives. I think the first thing we need to settle is what is the rule in Nigeria when it comes to education? There's national education policy. The latest edition was 2013, the sixth edition, which makes it abundantly clear the age at which a child should get into school, which is at the age of six. Section two in particular made provision for that, uh, for, for when a child should get into school, which is age six. Now, that same policy provides for 6334, six years in primary, six, three years in uh, junior secondary school, three years in senior secondary school. Now, if a child is to get into school at the age of six, and he or she gets into school at the age of six, is expected that it's going to, when, by the time the child spends six years in school, in primary school, three years in junior secondary school, three years in senior secondary school, the child should be 18 years old. Now, number two is the fact that when you look at section seven of that particular national policy, it makes provision for gifted children and provides that gifted children should be identified early. I think the kinds of people that Prof is talking about, they should be identified early and there should be policy to guide them for accelerated education. Now, the crisis we are dealing with is that it's not every child that is primarily in the category that Section 117 is talking about. Or let me say, if we agree that every child is in that category, it is not every child in that category that the parents, primary parents and secondary parents, live up to the responsibility of bringing out those giftings in them. Now, so, there has to, we have to identify what the rules are and we have, to, we have to identify what the exceptions are. I think the crisis we are dealing with is that the government has not been able to enforce its own policies. That's why we are in this crisis. I think the crisis is the fact that children are getting to university in droves and there's no, there's no regulation. Uh, private universities, uh, public universities are admitting students as young as 12 years old. I went to Lagos State University. In Lagos State University, there was a time a boy was admitted at the age of 12. That boy did not end well. He was expelled from school at the age of 16. At 13, he had joined the court. At 16, he was a court leader. So the point is, why we must... In, in 2019, I was working with UNICEF to develop a national policy on non-violent non -violent schools in Nigeria. And in that meeting, I made frontal uh, very strong recommendation that child safeguarding and protection should be extended to universities because universities are admitting children. A child is anybody below 18. So I don't, and going forward, I think the, if the government realizes that there's a crisis, crisis of admitting children who may not have anything to do within the university system into, this, into the system, and without taking adequate, making adequate provision to protect them and to pay attention to them. Even in countries where children, gifted children, get into the university early, there are provisions for how those children will be guided. Not that they are thrown into the university like every other person. Now, it is as a result of this crisis that I think the government is responding to. But my challenge is that, my, my problem is that I don't think this is how to respond to it. You don't come by fiat to try to solve a problem that is endemic, a problem that has been on ground for time immemorial. Now, the question is, what is the problem that is going to go on to identify the father? How have we admitted that the 633 system has failed? Because if it has been adhered to, we won't be where we are today. If we had admitted that it has failed, what made it fail? What are the indices of failure? How did we get here? What do we need to do? Those are fundamental conversations we need to have. Then if we now agree that yes, 6334 has failed, or the implementation of this has failed, who are the culprits? Government is continuing. Who are the culprits? How do we overhaul the entire system to ensure that the right thing is done? Lastly, if you now agree that okay, 6334 has failed, or the implementation of it has failed, and children are getting to university in droves, and there's no preparation to attend to them because I think that's the major issue. There's no preparation on the side of universities to attend to children that are entering at younger age. A child is anybody below 18. 
You see, it's that same university, Dr. Abati. You know that there are undergraduate programs. There are postgraduate programs. There are doctoral programs. There are all kinds of programs within the university system. You don't, don't throw, throw a child. Even if the child is gifted, we have to get, we have to be concerned about child safeguarding and protection issues related to that. And finally, if the government now says, okay, this is what we need to do, the fundamental thing, therefore, is that there has to be a transition period. How do you come with a policy that abrogates what exists, which is your own policy that you have failed to implement? You now say immediately, should uh, wipe and echo, should not admit to them below 18. How do we deal with that? The book that I read says, white air does not speak, always speak wisdom. There's a spirit in man. The breath of the Almighty gives him understanding. So the fundamental thing is that age is not necessarily a function of maturity. But I'm speaking from the perspective that it's not every child that should be in the university or take a course online at a particular time. That's what I'm saying. And if every child should be in the university or take any course, child safeguarding and protection should be in the forefront. What we have found is that universities are admitting children. A child is anybody below 18 by the provisions of the law. That's where I'm staying. And if a child is, is anybody below 18, the foundational issue is that if a child gets into any anywhere, whether it's a university, whether it's a religious place of worship, whether it's secondary school, there should be provision for the protection of these children. What we have seen within the school system, particularly the university system, is that there are no such provisions. So those children who get into school at that age are left on their own to fend for themselves like adults and like people that are above 18 and they are not able to do so well. That's what I'm saying. But And I've also said that you cannot come, educationists have said, to implement anything within the educational system right now, you need at least six years, particularly this 64 thing. 